Hello friends, welcome back to United Kids. My name is Natalie, it's fantastic to see you. How are you doing today? I wonder, what have you been up to? Maybe you've been watching the hockey, like me, or maybe you've been playing some hockey. I'd love to know, send me an email. Well, today we've got lots more in store. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna do some more sign language. It's the tricky stuff today. Um, so I hope you're warmed up and ready to go. Uh, we've got more songs, more stories, and a prayer. So I hope you are ready for some fun. Let's, t let's go. I picked this story today because of something that happened to me a few days ago. Now, I was trying to get off of my driveway and I got stuck. And I mean really stuck. My car was, looked like a beach whale. It was kind of embarrassing. Um, and I didn't know what to do. I'm ne My car's never got stuck before. And just at that moment, a bunch of children were playing at a park and they said, we'll come and help you. And they just knew what to do. They were really kind and they helped dig out the snow from under my car and I could get away. And that made me think that we should do it. We should talk about kindness today because that was a small thing, but it made a really big difference to my day. So I'm going to talk to you about a story of something that someone did to Jesus that uh, was a real act of kindness, too. And maybe you have stories of kindness that you want to share with me. That would be excellent. Now, this is called The Expensive Perfume. One evening, shortly before Passover, Jesus was dining with his disciples and friends in Bethany. Mary came up to him carrying an expensive jar of perfume. Kneeling before him, she carefully poured the perfume on his feet, using her own hair to wipe them. The whole house was filled with the fragrance, well, sorry, was filled with the wonderful fragrance. Some started to scold her, to tell her off for the perfume could have been sold to raise money for the poor. Jesus hushed them. 
She has done a beautiful thing, he said. You will always have the poor, and you can help them any time you want. But you will not always have me. People will remember Mary's kindness to me. For Jesus would not be with them in this way for much longer. The final stage of his time on earth was about to begin. I wonder if you could share with your parents a kindness story too, just like the one we just heard. Hello, are you ready? How is the sign language going? I hope you've got uh, most of that down already. If not, go back a couple of weeks and catch up. Now this is the really hard bit. I've been practicing and I still find it difficult. So we're going to do it really slowly to start with. Okay, um, this is the bridge bit. So your, and then we make a K with our fingers and bring it across our body, your kingdom. Your kingdom come and you point towards yourself. Your kingdom come. Fantastic. Next bit. Your will, and it's like you're moving a box. Uh, your will be done. Be done. So let's try it together. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. And again, your kingdom come, your will be done. I think I did that the other way, but hopefully you got it. And then uh, the next bit, on earth, like this, on earth, you go backwards and forwards, as it is in heaven on earth as it is in heaven and you do that twice on earth as it is in heaven so how did you do we're going to try and do all of that together if you need to pause and rewind that's absolutely fine so your kingdom come your will be done your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, on earth as it is in heaven. How'd you do? Did you do it? Fantastic. Now keep practicing so you can do it really fast and we'll do it to music. Good luck. I'm now going to pray and I'd love it if you joined in with me. During my prayer, I'm going to do some of the Lord's Prayer in sign language and maybe you could join in with me. Dear God, thank you that you're here with us. Thank you that we can stay connected like this even when we're apart. God, sometimes we worry about our friends and our family Sometimes we're scared about this virus. And sometimes there's other things on our mind. So we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer together to help us remember that you, God, are always there and always in control. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. I hope you had fun. Um, I hope you had uh, a really good Sunday. I hope you enjoy the hockey tomorrow and I hope to see you soon. Take care guys. God bless.